Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Royal Rumble campaign where I'm trying to survive as long as possible in the dark future of the legendary Iron Man universe with 90 mods that make our life a living hell. It is time to continue with Operation Sacred, Sacred Witch where we're trying to yet again counter a side goal of the aliens. It's called Fado Crito which would make it much more difficult for us to research in the future so that's almost a must win it's one of those side goals where i really really do not want to lose this mission and we're fighting against just an awful lot of enemies we will need um quite a bit of uh, quite a bit of damage rift keeper mark ii i have no idea what that guy can do a lot of heavy mutants, an unknown enemy, which means there are still new enemies uh, coming in, and devastators, perch units, and so on and so forth. And the problem is also we don't have all of our prime units available. Matter of fact, I would go as far as to say that we're again coming in with kind of a budget loadout if we were losing some of those weapons, um, that actually would be fine. Ross and Slicinator, Robian Inappropriate Murphy, Andors and Inquisitor are going to join us. And as you can see, I focused heavily on weapons, which is kind of a sign that I'm expecting an ongoing firefight. And since we need to hack that resistance uh, computer, I wanted to take two of our specialists with us so that we can work through that. And hopefully Inappropriate Murphy can move forward and get in. Well, other than that, we got Inquisitor because I wanted to provide some more skirmisher play. Let's see how well he's going to keep up. Potentially not as great because the Bulpup is still not upgraded and Endros also doesn't have an upgraded sniper. So we're a bit on the lower end of the damage spectrum. Got four plasma, two laser or magnetic weapon equivalents. And we're going to see what we're fighting against and uh, if we can still beat it. Here we go. Let's rock the boat. Okay, and we landed on high ground. Well, that's pretty far. And we got a demolitionist. Cool. Although for nine rounds, it might not be that far. No, I know that uh, map tile set here. It's actually right behind it and it's pretty bad because it's just one wall, no vision. The moment that this here breaks down, I bet you since we know it's 27 enemies that all of them are just chilling there. Okay, well, Stepping off. I guess just one way of finding out how to deal with it, which is preparing for a massive shootout. I can already predict by seeing the shape of the map that this here is going to be an absolute cluster fest. All right, I need Endors up here. Good. There is a small chance that we will be able to single pull one pack, but it's very likely that we're actually running into multiple packs at the same time. Which in return would mean I will go. that we will have a really, really, really tough time. Not sure if we can be flanked from there. Roby tries to move over here. I believe that enemies will will be coming through here and if we can play around that hole, that would be great. Elite the demo moves in. Orders 
inappropriate Murphy moves in Slicinator and Endors sort of want almost to take high ground here but I think that is I think that would be too ambitious a turns we definitely need to engage optimally like right now Okay, interesting. Good, couple of things here, right? Let's start with a protocoling ourselves for threat assessment. Can we hit all of them? Four definitely works. Five, maybe not so much. Oh, five works as well. Well, I think we're not going to get much more value out of a single rocket than that. Nice. Surprise. Hello there. Good shot. Fortunately, Guardian did not trigger. Good. Let's just take down whomever we can take down. Okay, so a couple of things. Hmm. First things first. If, if you say so. I believe you meant to not run away like a little chicken. 19 crit, nice. That does luckily not trigger anything. We could hit that by assault trooper somehow. And he would be in range. Okay, cool. Well, I mean, let's start cleaning up these guys, shall we? about how about we're moving up and let's just try to grab him out of that cover 50 50 okay cool worked like a charm i like it
still got run and gun we could move over here and kill that mutant but we might trigger something don't like the idea All right, lightning hands softening him up. Yeah, I wanted to keep an overwatch, but okay, whatever. Let's go. Good. So the first pack went reasonably well. Free reload. We do continue to have Overwatch. And I do have the feeling that there will be more. Are we better off here? I think so. That way we're not so clustered. 35%. Well, I tell you what, Overwatch. We do have a really solid Overwatch uh, here, including Kill Zone. <sighs> Kill Zone did not hit. No one else? Oh, come on. We are the harbinger of your destiny. There we go. I was about to expect that we're getting swarmed. Yellow alert. Yeah, there we... Yes, see? I knew it. Nice. Come on, Guardian. 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 Apparently not. Good. So far, so good. I like it. Okay. So how are we dealing with that situation? We had quite a bit of enemies over there. One, two, three. So we could kill three. If we know there is another one and another one, another one. That would be a bit much. Shall we go and Press our luck a little bit more. Hmm. Alright, that's a ballsy move, but I need Russ in a major position here. Good. Advanced teamwork it is. Okay, demo moves up. Let's try to hit all of these guys. No way.
Okay, wait, what are we saying? We got even more. Well, fantastic. If I was a cynic, I would say the en uh, the enemies are doing that deliberately to taunt me. But I'm not a cynic. I just want to win. So I refuse to give up. It is as simple as that. Let's lob a grenade in here. Pretty good damage. And our win condition will be death from above. So... Let's take a good look what we are dealing with. It looks like a solid kill. One down. Got another elite sniper with five hit points somewhere. Good, apparently not yet. Cool, no problem. We'll get to that. One, two, three, four, five. That's not bad. I like it. Reload. Keep the high ground. I think Gendor excels it. Sticking with the high ground. And... This Berserker here really could use some some softening up. Thankfully, AP rounds are helping us all the way. And we got Lightning Hands. Okay, so far so good. Let's continue to clean up. Nice explosion. Sun Lancer falls over as well. Keep it going, Saiken, keep it going. Okay, got to be careful here. Not too close. I don't want to risk any grenades or AOE attacks. Yeah, let's make sure that that Berserker dies, even if it costs us the Whiplash. But he's not in in absolute kill range yet. But this here will get him all the way into kill range. Alright, Berserk down. That is not good. Let's give him a teamwork. All right, we can clean up that side of the battlefield at least. Oh, could we? hit and kill that mutant velus no can't see him well in that case let's make sure that we take the kill cool because that's implacable and untouchable diverting a bit of the pressure away
eight protocoling so that Russ has the overwatches thanks to threat assessment re-reload and let's just soften up that that guy so if the assassin moves we should be able to kill it not sure if he moves as the first enemy Uh, suppression removes overwatch. You will regret your resistance. Okay, the demolitionist has done a really good job. Sanchez, as his friends were calling him, tried his best. Didn't work out in the end, but that's no one's fault. All right, cool. Okay, so. We got to deal with that mutant. To break the overwatch and then we carefully need to advance emphasis careful all right so 66 percent is not too bad let's hope we can break the overwatch nope Could move up but I'm afraid that we might pull additional enemies for now Roby stays carefully outside of the vision range there's no point in getting involved in any of that okay I need to get that mutant down. The mutant devastator that is. Slicinator moves up. That's not good. 90% shot. Straight out straight out the mist. Here we go again. A crit would have been nice, but apparently that is asking for too much. Can we see both of these guys? Yes and yes, but we only have a 50% chance thanks to hit thanks to this unfortunate suppression. Inappropriate Murphy could move over here, but wouldn't be able to see. Here he would at least see the commander. Potentially wouldn't help. That guy is still standing strong. All right, so let's prep the others. Nope. Can't really move forward. 
And the suppression really hurts us. Now combat protocol would have been great. Moving to half cover. Twenty percent. No, that's not happening. Not even the seventy percent shot hits. That is unfortunate. I tell you what, we're going to hunker down because I don't want to lose Russ. So that was a turn which clearly didn't work out as intended. The mutant commander absolutely rocked by simply suppressing suppressing us and we couldn't really do much about it. Luckily, not only we are missing 90% shots. Apparently the enemy is really bad at hitting as well. Wait, what? Wait, what? Who is this? Advent Exalted Custodian Grandmaster. Okay. <laughs> that guy looks like someone who you do not want to fuck around with. All right, uh, that commander might need a pounding. Nice hit, good. Suppression removed. Are you kidding me? Well. Luckily, we got Revival Protocol. Thanks for that. That was just an absolute wasted turn. Oh, and he's now out of actions. <laughs> what is even going on? Can't really hit that Grandmaster. Robin moves up. Fantastic. So, don't want to move uh, that close because there can be many, many, many more enemies. And even moving up here would be dangerous because the moment that we hit this field, you can very much watch into it. 70 hit points. Wow. Well, 
Let's just try to kill some of them. Good. So this should motivate him to to fight us. The mutant commandant that is. And we have untouchable. All right, I correct myself. He just really doesn't care. Wow, okay. Untouchable. 8 to 10. Good. We are flanked, he is not, and that is unacceptable. Slicinator takes full cover. I like high ground, I like hitting enemies well, but we can't we can't just accept that. Alright, Rust moves up, death from above. Inappropriate Murphy heals himself because he needs to survive. We can only hit him, so might it might as well come on, please guys, hit something. Can't move forward because it would be too dangerous. like to continue with untouchable seeing a bit of a problem here though but we have only one more shot that mutant needs to die Fifty fifty, not really good. Moving up would trigger another pack. We can't afford that. Inappropriate Murphy makes himself a less attractive target. Half cover for Roby is fine. The best we can get for now. Let's actually reload and let's hit this. Come on. Come on focus. 
unfortunately unsuccessful. Rust begins to April call threat assessment as well, so we do have two overwatch shots and just better cover. Not sure if I can prevent that network from shutting down. That's a nice little hit. Good. We shredded him. And he retaliated. Fantastic. Uh, and I thought we were through the worst. Apparently we're not. Bulwark stance, whatever that means, it can't be good. We gotta shred this uh, uh, this exalted custodian. Nice little hit. One, two, two pistol shots. Hmm, not good enough. We could could move forward and try to hit more. Which I almost think is going to be necessary if we if we want to at least have a chance to push to the objective. All right, let's see. Really, just trying to get the guys a, a little bit further down. Okay, one down. Still got so many more. Oh, nice. I can pull the custodian. That sounds like a really good idea, Saiken. I wonder what would happen if you were, uh, if you would do that. What could possibly go wrong, right? Inappropriate Murphy's almost down. We got to make sure that we're staying alive. Could move in, kill the mutant. Could move back here and tank the custodian master. I think it's the only play. Good, got implacable. Could position ourselves here. On Overwatch. Uh, for a blade storm. Can't really hit either of these guys. Oh, 
a kill. Hit all of them, but kill. We're continuing with the custodian. Let it uh, let it sink in. It's down to twenty hit points. Maybe gets another shield bash down to fifteen. He's shredded, so there we go. Disoriented, burning. Not good. Not good. Times two. Wow. Irradiated. Whatever that means. Switch down to one. Uh, turn, I just can't finish the mission. I really can't get into hack range. Just too many hit points. I am thinking, guys. Is there a way to reach that terminal in one turn? Would we be able to hack from here? Likely not. Could move to here and then we could hack, but we do not have any advanced teamwork left over. Which kind of brings me to the sad but likely true uh, truth that we need to call in the Avenger. There is no point in wasting anyone's lives. Yeah, a little bit salty, but this mission was too difficult. I just couldn't do it. Good, unfortunately we can't Unfortunately, we can't take the thing uh, thing with us. All right, can't hit that guy. Roby moves up. Slicinator moves up. Oh, nice. Good job. Couple more kills. Well, that's more for the record. Heading the stats, earning like two more XP. Point why. Uh, why I mentioned it's just not worth it is ask yourself the following what's the best outcome the absolute best that we could take from here it's potentially killing a few more enemies 
we're down on resources we have no more bonds people are at half health and there were still seven enemies here at least one more rift keeper would have been there M mark two whatever mark two means i i am imagining it's the harder version of the rift keeper and the first one already was super hard but yeah that advent custodian exalted with 70 hit points 10 armor that in itself already uh, tells you where the game is going to go i need more dps but there's only so much that i can uh, that i can do effectively in order to go up against those forces we need perfect end game equipment a kernel only team and really really padded stats and even then uh, it will be difficult it depends on the mission and we only have one of those teams so the moment that that wipes the entire run is uh, is over which means if i want to stay a little bit longer and explore with you guys how we're doing we need a way to reliable uh, reliably get uh, our soldiers up And as long as you do have kernels, you can get additional kernels as rewards. Yeah, everybody, almost everybody is gravely wounded and everybody is tired. Yeah, just too little damage. Wonderful. Fideo Crito, one out of three. And I think we also lost contact to that region, so lost another, like what, 90 intel, 80. Great. Oh, cool. Well, we did not lose contact. <laughs> yeah, we got, we got uh, very much overpowered. And think about it, I mean, I killed 21 enemies, most of which had 3, 4, 5 armor, 20, 30 hit points. Which means in 8 rounds, 2 of which I fully moved, so in 6 rounds, I killed around, say if any, everybody had 20 hit points, uh, now that's generous, too, uh, that's, uh, that's too conservative, I mean. Say if any, uh, if everybody had 25 hit points and we've killed uh, 20 enemies, that's 500 hit points. Multiply that uh, with four armor on average and cover and miss shots. It's pretty damn good for six rounds to go through that amount of uh, enemies. Great. Well, our prime sniper does have a fantastic weapon now. That plus death from above is great specifically the dark law improved sniper rifles breakthrough four plus one damage how could i say no to such a great offer I will make that our nope we still don't want that can we upgrade a bond no Damn it. So Recursor as a side project already went through. Stone Age. Unfortunately is almost through. Avengers. And then Fado Crito. We need to counter that. Gain intel, heal faster. We don't want to make contact. We already figured that would be a bad idea. Because we're going to get the instant contact in three days. Intel is fine. Do we need to build faster? 11 days. Hmm. You know, might as well build faster for now. We're okay on intel. 
This will help us to get the Scilab done a tiny bit faster. Avatar project almost uh, at maximum level again. Thunder Mountain. That was a bad one as well. And look at it. We have four side projects. I tell you what, the side projects actually make the dark events very scary. All right, so chosen trainings profile, low profile, attacks after every turn. We need to get her down, specifically with that dark event. Okay, reducing LSE fa uh, at alien facility counter by four weeks, not a problem. Now that is a problem. Barrier, we got to... We got to counter barrier, and I don't know what what we're dealing with uh, within that hidden event, but this this in itself is a problem. Good. We got instant contact now. Also need to upgrade uh, our. Also need to upgrade our resistance orders. So the holo projector. So a couple of things to begin with, right? Make contact here. That gives us tactical analysis. And tactical analysis is very, very important. I think into the fire was... Uh, mm, yep, getting, getting to her. So she is definitely going to be our main priority. Engineer. Speed of all armor research is irrelevant. Twelve ability points, alien loot. Yeah, I think as much as it sucks, we maybe the side. We're, get, we're, we're taking whatever will help us uh, to get stats and we're hunting him so that we can start getting the next war uh, the next chosen out of the line good and in terms of upgrade here let's just get that out of the way before anything else needs to happen. Two more days until war suit. That's good. Engineering. What can I do for you, Commander? Upgrading the bullpup would, I think, be helpful. That at least would make the skirmisher a bit more competent. Go down to three hundred fifty. I might purchase a Guerrilla Ops upgrade. Okay, well, gotta wait and see when we can finally go to Into the Fire. But before that would happen, we got a UFO with 20 sectoids. Is the game going... Is the game trying to be kind to us? Something is wrong. You're in, we aren't just getting 20 sectoids, right? It must be a mistake. If it is 20 sectoids, uh, that is a great option for us to just train our soldiers. How are the soldiers looking? So, I mean, some of them definitely could use some more training. It's 
specifically the newer ones here. Eh, I suppose it'll be fine. As long as we're taking some melee attacks with us and some mind shields, we should be okay. All right, I'll prepare that behind the scenes, guys. And if you like sectors as much as, uh, as I do, think about uh, that uh, the like button does not appreciate the mind spin. So roll that mind spin and see if you can mind control it to get the thumbs up. Thanks so much and see you in two days. Bye bye.